take a look what happened. Oh. Take a look what happened. Oh. Take a look what happened. Oh. I mean, on a personal note, it's, you know, I mean, seeing Donald Trump get, get up after getting shot in the face and pump his fist in the air with the American flag is one of the most badass things I've ever seen in my life. But, um, but, but look, I mean, it's, um, you know, as, and I think, look, it's, at some level as an American, it's like hard to not get kind of emotional about that spirit um, and that fight. And I think that that's why a lot of people like the guy. <laughs> well, there you go. What's going on, party people? What is going on? It's your ride share extraordinaire, your super duper Uber drivers here, guys. Yeah. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. You guys, you already know the deal. Before you hop in my ride, do me a favor. Hit the like. Hit that subscribe. Poor favor. <laughs> Come on, let's do this. Hop on in. Buckle in. And let's go. Yeah! Okay, dokay. Party people, welcome back. And if you're new to my channel, thank you for hitting that subscribe button. All right, Ken, folks. What are we talking about today, folks? Man, oh, man. Remember during the debates, uh, Mr. Biden got on stage and he said that no service members had died under his watch. I'm the only president this century that doesn't have any, this, this decade, that none of any troops dying anywhere in the world. Now, not only that was untrue, that was very hurtful for the family members. All Americans deserve the freedom to be safe. And America is safer today than when I took office. Year before I took office, murder rates went up 30 percent. 30 percent they went up. The biggest increase in history. It was then. Through no. Through my we have a gold star parent, uh, Mr. Lopez here, M. Roman Lopez, his son, and others were forgotten about for the last three, four years. He gets on stage at the RNC convention and he tell a story about his son and let's take a listen. Thank you. When Hunter and the other service members' bodies were returned to the U.S. in Dover, Delaware, Joe Biden met the plane. But he made the occasion more about his son lost to cancer than our sons and daughters lost on his watch. Worse than that, he has never said their names out loud. And during, and during last month's debate, he claimed no service members have died during his administration. None. That hurt us all deeply. So Alicia and I are here to say the names of all 13 service members who lost their lives All 13 service members who lost their lives at Abbey Gate. David Espinoza. Nicole G. Taylor Hoover. Ryan C. Knaus. Riley McCollum. Dylan Marola. Kareem Nakui. 
Dagan Page. Johanny Pichardo. Humberto Sanchez. Jared Schmitz. Maxon Soviak. And my son, Hunter Lopez. Now we have ABC, Terry Moraine, and he's going to talk about this. And we already know that the media don't want Trump to win, but they got to acknowledge this. Not sure I've ever experienced anything like that at a convention. The connection between this crowd and those family members of the fallen was just absolutely extraordinary. The emotions, the call and response that the crowd started spontaneously. Never forget reciting and repeating the names as they were read out. Uh, and it wasn't just the compassion and the sorrow that linked the crowd and those speakers. It was the anger. I've been out here uh, this afternoon talking to veterans, Vietnam-era veterans, Iraq and Afghanistan veterans, about the campaign in general. And without being prompted, they bring up Afghanistan and the sense of shame and anger that they felt for the country uh, and and in this campaign. It's just unforgivable, okay? Yeah. Hunter, I mean, Hunter Lopez's father, when Anderson, I got choked up. His father was reading those names. Somebody who went to West Point, served in the military, been deployed overseas, fought in a war. The fact that Joe Biden never met with those families, the fact that Joe Biden forgot, forgot that those kids died is just unforgivable. The fact that the White House has never bothered to clean up or say we're sorry is just unforgivable. It's Dave, unforgivable to me as a Dave, it's an America. Well, that was a very powerful message. And shame on you, Mr. Biden. Anyway, that's my thoughts for the day. If you guys got any value out of my content, do me a favor, hit the like. Hit that subscribe. You see that notification bell? Turn on that notification bell so you get my latest and greatest. Share this content with your best friends and tell your mama I said hi. <laughs> all right, all right. Till next time, guys, I'll see you again. And all you knuckleheads, get off my lawn.